Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into Ethereum then also into the DXY and Nasdaq and because we have right now day one after the Coinbase IPO we also gonna have a little look into these uh, IPO so I want to start with that because as I also told you in yesterday's video my friends I have bought some of those coinbase shares for three hundred and ninety four dollars so even though we are a bit overpriced I just wanted to participate on this IPO I never bought into an IPO and that's why from the first minute that this stock went live I immediately bought with market price so right now I have an entry of $394 and I'm not thinking about to trade with that stock so it's more like an investment for many years that I just want to have in my portfolio because this is kind of a statement for me because also it's kind of a big sentiment that I have with Coinbase because when I started my cryptocurrency journey I went in through Coinbase so that's why for me it's kind of uh, giving something uh, back to this uh, company and that's why I just bought in here with a market order I don't care the price it can even drop sub $300 in my opinion but I just wanted to have from the first minute on some of those stocks and this is exactly what I did and afterwards of course the stock dumped so this is of course what can happen when we are in a price discovery so in my opinion we're gonna see here big volatility in the next coming days and weeks here for the coinbase stock so if you want to buy in in this stock it's not financial advice it's just my opinion then maybe wait until the price is going a little bit below $300 because I think if you're investing for the long term in this company and in this stock you should be doing fine same like everyone did when they bought in right at the beginning for example in Apple Microsoft Facebook and so on there were a lot of years where it seemed like that we would go down to zero through all of those stocks but at the end if you just have bought in at the beginning and kept it forever you should be now maybe even a millionaire so that's why if you want to buy coinbase it's life right now and i think if you're able to catch below 300 dollars this stock it should be a nice buy entry but no financial advice my friends this is only what i am doing and here in this channel we also gonna have a look into the coinbase stock in the future because i want to see if this stock is going to be a bit correlated also to the bitcoin price or not so this is going to be very interesting to see how coinbase will correlate to the overall crypto market especially with the bitcoin price so let's wait and see where today we're gonna open pre-market prices right now are a bit above the close of yesterday but i think that here we could even drop below 300 dollars in the next coming days and weeks before maybe we could see some kind of a recovery here above 400 dollars but as i told you my friends i'm not trying to trade this stock this is something that i just buy and keep it wherever the price is going i'm really not caring about the price of this stock but of course it would be nice if we would start to pump here as well just to see coinbase doing great here on the stock exchange and now let's start with our daily ta my friends let's start here with bitcoin because uh, yesterday we had here this little sell-off here down to the main support that we have currently at around 62k so this old peak resistance line here at around 62k is now in theory the new support so as long as we're closing four hour candles like we did also yesterday above 62k we should be expecting here a big bounce to the upside since we are cooling off all the indicators and also as you can see right now we have the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame as a new support 
So as long as we're trading above these 62K, I'm not concerned and I'm expecting here a big bounce to the upside, especially if here we are getting a buy signal in my own indicator, then I definitely gonna take a long position because we are also still trading above the 50 level in the RSI and money flow is still positive. So the four hour time frame currently is looking extremely bullish. We only have now the nine moving average here at around $63,200 as a potential resistance for now. So as soon as we are able to close above the nine moving average in the four hour, I think we're gonna see here continuation to the upside and what we have seen right now was just a little pullback because we were yesterday very overbought here in the lower time frames. I also told you yesterday, my friends, that we got a sell signal in the three hour time frame. So we should be prepared for a potential drop down towards this support. And even if we would come down here towards the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, so down here at the main support of around 58K, we would be still in an uptrend in the four hour time frame. So that means that even if we would lose now 62K and we would retest here the main support of 58K, we are still in our uptrend and we still should expect latest here a bounce to the upside. I'm only starting to get concerned if we are starting to close four hour candles below the main support of around 58K. Then I think, yes, we could see a major sell off, maybe even down here again towards the 44K area, where all the 20 weekly moving average is lining up exactly here at $44,000. So, this is what I'm expecting could happen if we would lose here the main support. But even if we are coming down here and we get a successful bounce at 58K, then we will not crash down to 44K, but continue to go higher potentially than to create new all time highs. Because currently we're seeing in some of the all coins a lot of gains my friends not only because of the bitcoin dominance is falling but also because we could be about here to go way higher in the bitcoin price and i think right now the altcoins are a bit leading especially ethereum but we're gonna have a look into that later on so the four hour time frame is still looking very healthy and here i'm expecting continuation to the upside because the next target in my opinion is to reach here the 77k area and also this would line up with the breakout target from this ascending triangle that we have so if here we are getting a successful bounce already here at 62k take it as a good long opportunity and of course also a good buy opportunity because we should be then gear up towards this next potential resistance up here at around 77,000 dollars this important price level is not only the Fibonacci extension from our ascending triangle here, it's also more or less where this breakout target would be from this ascending triangle. And also you can see this red line here, our previous main support, which now could be turning into a new resistance. You can see that this line is also exactly lining up here with this 77K area. And that's why in my opinion, it's very likely that here we could face some resistance if here we are able to continue to go higher and push towards this 77k target. So I'm still leaning more to the bullish side that here we're gonna reach the 77k area pretty soon and then of course it's going to be important to see what will happen because if here we're getting heavily rejected this could be maybe our blow off top or our local top for now if we are not able to go higher but if we are able to go above 77k and take out this resistance up here then I think we could easily push it towards $85,000 and if this resistance here is broken then be prepared that we could easily go towards 100k in a very fast way and all if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that we're still trading above all the important moving averages the problem here is only that we are a bit overbought so we could get here very soon a sell signal like we also had here in the past but that usually means only that we are coming back down to test an important support for example here the 9 or 20 daily moving average which are currently here between $59,000 and $60,000 so if here we're getting a sell signal I think that we could come down to test these two important moving averages but then also expect a big bounce to the upside because the daily time frame is still looking bullish and i think this breakout that we have seen so far is valid and we're gonna see very very soon here continuation to the upside above 70k so even though in the short term we could still come down here back into this ascending triangle I still think that the likelihood of going higher towards 77k is more likely and I would only start to get concerned if we would lose here that 9 and 20 daily moving average as a support and of course also drop below $58,000.
because in that case we could get a major correction before maybe we continue our bull run. So everything is still looking great my friends and I'm expecting here continuation to the upside overall in the crypto space of course also in the stock market and uh, a lot of people are asking me uh, about the pi cycle indicator and as I told you my friends uh, you cannot just uh, trade based on uh, one indicator in the past of course uh, this always signaled uh, almost uh, the top of a cycle so even if this would really right now signal a local top we could get a correction maybe down to 40k to test a 20 weekly moving average in the worst case even down towards the 200 daily moving average to test the 30k area but overall we are still not done with our bull market and the Bitcoin will go to way higher prices my friends so I wouldn't give too much significance on that indicator for now of course if we would lose now the main support of 58k we could get the major correction but as I told you my opinion it's not worth to take the risk just to sell everything right now and hope that you can buy back in at 40 or 30k because we all know that Bitcoin will go for sure way above 100k and sell here at around 60k in my opinion is just not worth the risk and also if we compare this indicator for example with the euro price you can see that here we are not getting a sell signal so in the Bitcoin to euro pair we are not having this sell signal because these two moving averages didn't cross yet so that's why never trade based only on one indicator and one pair only if we have several indicators and signs that we could be topping out then I think it's worth to take a little bit of profits out just to be ready if we're gonna see a major sell-off but since we are right now still in this uh, breakout phase I still think that big moves are about to come and if you sell right now you might miss big gains here in the not so distant future. So this is no financial advice my friends but this is just what I am doing and I'm sharing my thoughts with you. You can do whatever you want but for me personally right now I think it's still the time to accumulate and we will go to way higher levels very very soon. And this is also what we are seeing right now in some altcoins also because the Bitcoin dominance is falling. Right now we are dropping below this potential support that we had here of around 54%. So my next target is now to reach reach here this potential 52 to 50% support. So if we're dropping down towards these levels, I think the altcoins will profit a lot, especially Ethereum, because as you can see, we are creating again new all-time highs. And right now we exactly got rejected at the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level, our target from the breakout of this symmetrical triangle. So Ethereum right now met our target. And as you can see, we got now an initial rejection here but if we are able to go above $2,500 and break this resistance the next potential target is up here at the 2.618 Fibonacci extension at around $3,300. So also here on Ethereum, we are in price discovery, my friends. No one can tell you where we are going right now, but based here on the Fibonacci extension levels, we can more or less estimate where maybe we are getting some support or resistance on the way to the upside because Ethereum is breaking out right now in the daily time frame, same like on Bitcoin, we are looking a bit exhausted, but we still could go to way higher levels. And even if here we're getting a sell signal, we maybe are just coming down to test nine or 20 daily moving average. So here between $2,200 and $2,000 before maybe we gear up for another big move to the upside. So also here on Ethereum, maybe in the lower time frames, we could get here some more pullbacks before we continue to go higher since right now we are getting some rejection here after reaching our target of $2,500. But overall, also here on Ethereum, I'm still very bullish and I'm expecting here big continuation to the upside. And I think $3,000 can be reached very, very easily and very quick, probably in April latest in May. So even though we could get some pullbacks here in the coming days, I'm still very bullish and I'm expecting that this bull market has not topped out yet. 
and even a local top is also yet not in the cards not only here in the crypto market but also in the stock market because even in nasdaq right now we are seeing a little pullback similar like over on bitcoin the thing is that right now we couldn't hold this support here at around thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars so let's see if today we are able to recover above as long as we're trading below these thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars there is still a high chance that we maybe even could drop down again towards thirteen thousand dollars where the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour time frame but if here we are able to go again above thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars and create a support above i'm pretty confident that also here we will start to go parabolic to the upside because right now with this sell-off we still have the rsi above the 50 level also we are still in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame and money flow is extremely positive here so i'm very bullish here for nasdaq as well and if we have a look here into the dxy you can see that we are still falling off the cliffs so the only support that we currently have is here the 50 daily moving average and if this one is getting lost we could easily go down here again towards 91 to 90 dollars and that of course would be very much in favor for the crypto and stock market so as long as the dxy keeps falling i'm very bullish for the crypto and stock market of course also here we could get very soon a bounce because we are looking extremely oversold and also the rsi now is coming into very oversold condition so we're gonna see a bounce somewhere very soon but since we are again trading now below all the important moving averages here like the 20 and 200 daily moving average i think right now we have a bit more room to go lower than higher i would only change my mind if we are really able to have a big push to the upside and start to create here higher highs and higher lows so if we are dropping below $91 and start to create again lower lows then I think the DXY just had here a little breather and will return into a bear market but if here we are starting to create higher lows and higher highs then this could be a reversal here for the DXY and we could maybe see a bigger correction in the next coming days and weeks in the crypto and stock market at least for the short to mid term but for the long term I'm still very bullish for the crypto and stock market whatever the DXY is doing right now but of course if the DXY is going back into a bull market this could be a big warning sign for the crypto and stock market so that's why we always have to keep an eye on what the DXY is doing as well so the conclusion for this video my friends is that yes short term we maybe are coming down again a bit but I don't think that we have seen a local top for now I think that we still have a lot of room left to the upside and we are still in this breakout phase especially here on Bitcoin and we will go towards this 77k target pretty soon so if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel my friends i do daily ta videos and i am also giving away 50 dollars coupon codes for prime xpt over on discord so make sure to join our free discord trading chat you find the invitation link here in the video description once you have clicked on this link then you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to our trading chat and uh, you can just let me know here with the private message that you have signed up with my referral link for prime xpt and then i will send you out your promo code worth of 50 dollars that you can use to trade here with leverage over on prime xpt and of course you can also try out the unique co-vesting feature here where you can easily copy trade other successful traders so definitely sign up to Prime XPT and if you want to get these $50 completely for free without even putting a deposit then contact me on Discord. The only important thing is that you have signed up with my refer link down below here to Prime XPT. Only like this you can get this free $50 in your trading account and also check out all my other links for example to Bybit and Femix those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with leverage if you still need an account over here then make sure to use my invitation links down below here they will give you some extra bonus with your first deposit so make sure to use them and also if you're completely new in the crypto space open up an account over on Swissborg, Binance and also Coinbase those are the exchanges that I'm also using and with my invitation links you can get some free money as well with your first purchase. 
and don't forget you can get a YouTube membership on my channel or also donate me here directly on Discord if you want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. So if you're trading with leverage or you're interested in such an indicator, make sure to get a YouTube membership or contact me directly here on Discord. And you can send me here a private message because like this, I can set up your access for the indicator. And of course, a little donation is needed in order to keep alive the live stream. So thank you again very much for watching my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.